going on guys my name is Hussein and in this video I want to clear up some misconception that I read a lot on my YouTube comments and uh, especially from people who are new or people who claim to be experts and try just to uh, confuse other people because they didn't actually build a clear system and they don't know how the networking stack actually works so I'm gonna clarify some misconceptions specifically with the authentication system so if you're building like a login system I read a lot that people, what there are people doing is they are encrypting the password at the client side before sending it to the wire as a post request. They are actually writing code to encrypt the password thinking that it's safe or, or whatever, right? Guys, you got to remember that the communication between you and the server is already encrypted. It's called TLS. And I'm going to prove to you that even Google, the mighty Google, is not even encrypting their passwords, right? They are relying on the powerful TLS 1.3 to do that. I know I talked about TLS, guys. Please, you got to understand how the internet works. You got to under understand how things work. You cannot just read some random people from the internet and they, they think they know what they were doing, what they are talking about. No, this is what you would need to do. And that's sufficient. Here's what you this is my email address. It's obviously public. It's on my website. Feel free to email me any questions. I really welcome you. And I learned so much from you guys, from your experiences. So much new technologies you guys are, are suggesting that I learn every day from you guys. So I love to see your emails. That being said, how about we actually test that by opening an incognito window and then going to the developer console clearing up the, all the network stacks and I'm about to write a random password that is obviously not my password and that's gonna be ha 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 all right and I'm gonna hit post which is a next next this is a post this will essentially send a post request and here's that post request right so if I click here it is an HTTPS it's an XXR and it succeeded it's using quick http2 over quick because i'm using chrome but if i click here obviously the password is wrong and if i scroll all the way to the request and form data look at this shit. look the password is sent as plain text including everything else and that is absolutely fine guys because nobody will have access to the dev tools, right? Because this is the, the actual request being sent before it leaves, right? Uh, your internet. But the moment it leaves, it is encrypted. And we talked about how TLS works, right? Before we even do anything between us and Google, we established a, a symmetric key. We exchanged this key using Diffie-Hellman. So... Uh, and that's all part of the TLS handshake, handshake, which is like one request to exchange the keys. And then once we know the keys, we keep encrypting everything we send before we actually send it to the wire. So it is absolutely useless for you to write client side code to encrypt the password. Because guess what? The moment you try to do that and be my guest, do it. It's useless. The reason is, how will the server decrypt your password? It needs to know the key or the decryption, right? Password. But so that means your client needs to know also the key, which which we you can you use to directly encrypt it. And the moment you put that key in your client code, it's available for everybody to see. And it's actually worse for you guys. So this is, do not rely on any client side encryption before sending it to the pass to the, to the actual, to the actual server, right? So it's enough to have secure certificate. HTTPS is the goal here, right? Uh, HTTPS is the goal if you're building a web application, but if you're building a database, even if you're connected to a database, I really recommend you always use TLS. Always use TLS. Encrypt the channel. And this will be done for you. You don't have to worry about anything. Right? All of this stuff is done for you. That being said, of course, 
when you receive that password on the other side on the server you will have to store it encrypted and i talked about five to six methods of encryption the best way of storing the password encrypted in a database somewhere or relying on a third party for actually storing the password for you or just authentication altogether right this video is specifically just about the act the act of sending that password uh, whether you're logging in or registering right so from the client side you do not have to encrypt anything rely on tls and that should be enough guys but on the other side on the server definitely when you take that password and you're storing it on the database you're gonna have to encrypt it you're gonna have to salt it you're gonna have to do all the best practices check out the video that i made about password uh storage all right guys very quick video to clarify the importance of tls so you really need to just read more and understand more how everything works all right guys i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome